Hello all. Welcome to this uh, part two tutorial. Okay, so far we have created this base panel. Yeah. This this has uh, come out really very well. So today we will see how to create this buttons. Okay. Let's move right and move left buttons. Uh, we will create today. So let's start. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select from here rounded rectangle tool. So then hold shift and create a shape like this so that it will be a perfect uh, square. So now this is in black color. So I'm going to change this color to blue. Okay, so to change this color, come here. So before that, uh, check whether you are in uh, shape 2. Okay. So select here and pick some blue color. I don't want this blue. So I am going to select different blue. Think. I think this is fine. See this is overlapping. So I'm going to put this layer on top of every other layers. Okay. So I'll zoom it. Okay. So now we have our button shape. So now let's color it. So double click this layer. So now we have got our layer style panel. So now what we are going to do means uh, we are going to apply stroke. Okay. So I am going to apply blue color stroke here. So this color stroke. Okay. Let it be uh, the position of the stroke can be in outside. So I am going to set it to it's very thin right so six maybe yeah and I'm going to get still lighter maybe eight yeah that's fine so this is fine and then I'll hit ok now so we'll see what we want so here we have applied the stroke and there is some uh, shadow here and there's a glow here so all these things we're going to create now so we have applied stroke so let us create other things so stroke is done okay so now come to inner shadow so deselect this use global light okay so we're going to apply in the opposite direction so it come here and move it directly like this this is right and increase the size a little bit as well as the choke a little bit then this is fine okay now we've got some water 3d like looking shape yes okay so then come to inner glow so we are going to change this uh, option to center. So this will be applied in center. The glow will uh, apply in center portion. So increase the size and see. So let's decrease the choke a little bit. And change this color to light blue like this. Okay. Think that's fine so we have created our button shape now so let us create uh, the arrow icon so for that okay so uh, again take the square 
sorry yeah rectangle too and hold shift and create a square like this sorry so before doing uh, another shape before creating another shape make sure you have created new layer otherwise it will be merged like this okay so so i'm going to undo this so come to new layer and then draw a square like this okay. so i'm going to change this color to white so press u so that now we are in shape layer sorry shape 2 uh, change the fill to white color okay so now we have this shape now i'm going to edit this point so press a and select this point hold shift and drag hold shift and drag like this so that it will be dragged in this direction diagonally okay no. so now press a and hit escape so that this selection will go off and i'm going to transform it now so press ctrl t and hold shift and rotate like this so this direction is fine press enter yeah. now again press ctrl t so now transform like this you can put it here and see also if you want so I will just zoom it. Yep. So better I will create here one so that you can see clearly. I think this is fine. And duplicate this shape again. So we have to duplicate the shape. Press uh, Ctrl J. So now drag it like this and transform like this and place it here so oh then transform like this to transform only in um what do you say up and down direction hold all then uh, transform okay so it will be transformed uniformly So, I think this is fine. And I'm going to select this point and edit it a little bit. Okay. This thing, this is fine. I'm going to move it a little bit. This is fine. So, now select these two shape layers and merge press ctrl e to merge so now this is merged together yeah so move it here and yeah we have got the arrow here so what we are going to do now means we're going to apply some styles here so let us add so double click this layer and to hide these uh, points and edge lines press ctrl h okay so come to the stroke i'm going to apply stroke uh in the center position okay select center and change this to three yeah, that's fine so full type i'm going to use gradient here and Select blue from here. Like this. Okay, that's fine. So this direction is fine. So now I want little bit shadow under this uh, icon. So apply some drop shadow. Okay, this. A color can be in dark blue so pick the color from here and change this to a little bit dark okay and this is size 
and distance reduce distance. I think that's fine. Make sure you have aligned it center. Okay, this is fine. So we have our button here. Let's compare. So you can create it uh, with your own style also. This is one way. So I'm just uh, trying to replicate my own design. You can, if you have other ideas, you can uh, play with other options also. Okay. I think we can um, increase the shadow here. So inner shadow. Is the choke a little bit? And come to the glow part and uh, increase the increase the size. This okay, that's fine. So we have created a button now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this into a smart object. Okay. So why I'm going to make it a smart object means so we have applied layer styles. No. So after applying layer styles, if we scale this, see I'm making a copy and I'm scaling it you'll see some difference so here the style is different and here we have different uh, you can see the difference right so to avoid this what we are going to do means we, we are going to convert this into a smart object okay select all these uh, layers and right click and convert to smart object so now we have a small object and rename this to button. Okay, that's fine. This is our button. What we're going to do is press Ctrl T and decrease the size like this and put it here. Okay. It's fine and now duplicate this button and hold shift and move like this this should be in the opposite direction so press ctrl T and flip horizontal okay so we have created this shape. Now we need to apply some drop shadow. So to do that, double click the button, hit drop shadow and see and uh, is the size a little bit that's fine so i'm going to reduce the stroke size here a little bit so to do that double click here not here here double click so it will open you the smart object PSP file. Okay, so now we can edit the stroke. So double click this and change the stroke size to 4. Okay, and I'm going to change the glow color 
also. I want this color. Okay. That's fine. And hit OK. And save it here. So now close this document and see the style is applied here. But the stroke is very thin, right? Again, we have to change it. So double click here. Select OK. And increase the size of the stroke a little bit. So let put some six is fine. And hit OK and save this. Close this. Yeah. I think this is fine. So yeah. So I'm going to apply drop shadow here also. You can simply copy this uh, layer style from here to this. So first of all, select this button and sorry, right click and copy layer style and select this other button and right click and paste layer style. See, now the drop shadow is applied here also. I think we've created nice looking left right buttons okay. these are the player movement buttons so in the next tutorial we will see how to create these level score life and coin elements okay so and one more thing I want I want to tell you that I created my first game and I published in Play Store uh, link is in the description. Please uh, visit my game and um, let me know your comments and feedback. Yeah. So in my game also, I've created a game panel like this. So I thought of making a tutorial on that. So that's why I'm making it. I think this will be helpful for you also. Yeah. Okay. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.